Let's take a look at the percentages questions. Now questions one to eight are non-calculator and then for the rest the calculator is fine. Question number one, 50% of 120. This is a lot easier if you remember that 50% is a half. So the question is what's a half of 120? A half of 12 is six. So half of 120 is 60. Question two is easy if you know that 25% is a quarter. So what is a quarter of 440? That's 440 divided by four. Four divided by four is one. Four divided by four is one. Zero divided by four is zero. So 110. 10% is a nice amount to be able to calculate because it's one tenth. So we're dividing this by 10, which is easy because we can just chop off the zero, 56. Question number four, we want 5%. Now I'd start off by working out 10%. 10% is this amount divided by 10. In other words, chop off a zero. 5% is half of 10%. So if 10% is 100, then 5% is gonna be half of 100. So 5% is 50. Question number five, a bit harder, but it's a lot easier if we remember that 75% is three quarters. So we're working out what is three quarters of 712? This is a fraction of an amount question. So we take our total, we divide it by the number on the bottom, and then we multiply it by the number on the top. But these calculations aren't that easy, so you might want to use a bus stop, well, you're definitely going to want to use a bus stop method because you can't use a calculator. Fours into seven goes one, remainder three. Fours into 31 is seven, remainder three. Fours into 32 is eight. So we want to multiply 178 by three. Three eights are 24, carry two. Seven threes are 21, 22, 23, carry two. One three is three, plus two is five. So the answer is 534 milliliters. Question six, let's work out 10% first of all. One tenth of this amount is 10%, so just chop off the zero. So 60%, that is six times more than 10%. So we want six times more than 15. 15 times six is 30. Carry the three, one six is six, plus three is 90. Alternatively, you could have worked out that 60% is 50% and a 10% added together. 10% we is nice and easy, that's 15. 50% is half. What's half of 150? 75. 75 plus 15 is still, we get the answer, 90. Question number seven, we want to work out 35% of 720. So this all comes from knowing what 10% is. So 10% divide this by 10, 72. Now 35%, we, how do we make 35%? Well, that is a 30% and a 5%. So 30% is going to be three times 72 and 5% is going to be half of 72. Half of 72 is 36 and 3 times 72, 2 threes are 6, 3 sevens are 21. So now all we need to do is combine the 216 and the 36. 12 carry 1, 3, 4, 5. So that is 252. Question number 8. 2% is probably easier to work out if we work out what 1%. Now remember that per cent means out of 100. So 1% means one hundredth, one out of 100, one hundredth. So first of all, what is one hundredth of 375? Well, that's 375 divided by 100, which is 3.75. So if 3.75 is 1%, then 2% is gonna be two 3.75s. So you can either add 3.75 and 3.75 or multiply 3.75 by two. Adding's a lot easier usually, isn't it? But uh, five plus five is 10, carry the one. Seven plus seven plus one is 15, carry the one. Three, six, seven. So the answer is 7.5. Question number nine, we can use a calculator now. So uh, a couple of ways to do this. It depends on how good you are at understanding percentage multipliers. Um, you might, for question number nine, you might just want us to work out, well, what is 50%? 450 divided by two, and 450 divided by two is 225. So 50% is 225. So we're adding that on to the 450, 
and that is 675. 25% is a quarter, so what is a quarter of 860? Divide that by four is 215. So we just add that on to the 860 and that gives us an answer of 1075. 10% of this amount is 15. So we're subtracting 15 from 150. That's 135. 5%, what's 5% of 620? Well, 10% is 62. So 5% is 31. So all we need to do is subtract 31 from uh, 620 and that gives us 589. 75% is three quarters. So what is three quarters of 600? This is a fraction of an amount question. So 600 divided by the number on the bottom times by the number on the top. And 600 divided by four times three is 450. So we need to add that on to the 600. So that's gonna be 1050. 10% is 72. So therefore, 60% is 72 multiplied by 6. 72 times 6 is 432. Uh, this is an increase, so we need to add the 432 to the 720, and we get 1152. Here we want a 35% decrease, so let's work out 35% first of all. So 10% uh, is 526. 5% is therefore 526 divided by 2, which is 263. So 35%, that's going to be a 30% plus a 5%. I've worked out 5%, 263. Time to work out 30%. Well, if 10% is 526, then 30% is going to be 3 times that figure, which is 1578. So therefore 35% is going to be these two amounts combined and that comes to a total of 1841. And all we need to do is subtract that from the 5,260 and we get a total of 3,419. Okay, so question 16. Uh, this is a bit of a tricky one and I don't think there's any way we can do this without making sure we understand percentage multipliers. Um, so to work, it, first of all, let's work out what 7.5% of this amount is and then subtract it. Um, now our percentage multiplier is this figure here divided by 100. 7.5 divided by 100 is 0 0.075. So this is the percentage multiplier to calculate 7.5% of an amount and it's called a multiplier because you multiply the total by this figure. So multiply that by 55,000 and we've worked out what 7.5% is. So it decreases by this amount um, every year. So next year it's going to be this amount less than 55,000. So 55,000 minus the 4,125 comes to a total of 50,875 pounds.